Yow. So I had one of those uh, play like you don't give a crap moments and I went 12 and 0 and wasn't even really aware until toward the end of the match. I mean, probably within the last three minutes. I just kept throwing myself into situations and, it, you know, I mean, perfect storm. Everything meshed. So, of course, G55, 12 kills, uh, 4 critical hits, 38 hits, battle time 5 minutes 4 seconds, activity 90%. So we won the battle and I'm flying a premium plane and I have premium time so we got that much of a bonus. Uh, we got that much research points between both modification and vehicle research. Um, total of 105,905 silver lines which is, whoo, which is good. And it's because this plane has a 300% uh, reward for our Silver Lions. Uh, I'm also running a 10% RP booster. So, we're going to play this, uh, this replay. But I wanted to look at the stats of the G55S real quick. So now I'm at 523 kills uh, and 70 deaths within 134 battles with the 50.7% 50, 50. Uh, uh, victory to battle ratio. Even with this being, uh, they raised, they recently raised the uh, the battle rating from 4.7 to 5.0. Um, this is the first real game I've had since then. It seems like before the way the matchmaking was set up, it was harder for me to get kills. And it seemed like the experience level of those players, it went up as well. It's hard, it was harder for me to get kills. This match, I have no idea exactly who I've been killing, if there have been repeats. So I shot this guy who... This is, I also like to do this. I also like to see who I'm flying against and how many kills I've gotten. So I've killed this guy twice and he was in G55s both times. I don't see many repeat kills other than that one. So I killed him twice in a Yak T9T and a LA7. In the LA-7, that was a, I remember that fight, that was a harder fight. He was using rudder. It didn't work for him, but he was using it. I was flying flat. Yeah. You know, some people harp on that. Oh, you weren't using rudder. You're not skilled. I'm like, you know what? I, I, I get kills. And I have fun. That's all I care about. I'm not going to fly to meet some stranger's criteria. I'm going to fly the way I want to fly. So I killed him twice. Okay, we mentioned that. So let's take a look at uh, ranks. Okay, he's level 16. And he has level 16 stats. He's actually quite strong in this plane, it seems. And I did, I thought I saw him up top trying to lock it down. So he has the right idea. Who's the other guy? Mr. Mavlock. Level 45. And he's got a... Uh, he seems like he flies pretty decently based on his, uh, his scoring. Let's look at the Russian. LA-7, he just started flying that. Cut. I'm one of those deaths. And so let's, uh, let's watch this, uh, this replay here. 
We'll rename it first. Pardon me if I'm very talkative today. Blame it on the coffee. up a little. So I'm climbing. Of course I always want altitude and you'll see at some points in this uh, match I was actually way up there at 6,000 meters. Plane handles fine up there. I mean it, it G55s in general they bleed speed and they don't particularly uh, dive all that fast. Um, so you're going to see me dive on people and it's not like diving in, you know, when you're flying a P-47. It's, it's a gradual buildup. Not like a wham. There it is. There's your speed. Okay, I was targeting uh, Black Hawk at first. And now I'm trying to figure out what to do and I see the G-55 and the P-63. They're kind of close. So I'm watching the G55. Then I see the P63 and I'm like, ah, oh, he's he's lined himself up trying to get the tile like the top. These guns are lethal. You're gonna see a, a nice uh, long distance kill, maybe a kilometer out with these guns from behind. People think that they can run away from this plane and they can't. Uh, I heard of several people complaining about the guns on this plane that they were too accurate. Well, you got to remember that one of these are in the nose, so there's no convergence. At least with that bullet. And the thing was, I wasn't really, sp I wasn't spamming. It's not like I unloaded a whole uh, magazine's worth. I started shooting, noticed that he was adjusting, and then all of a sudden it was like he thought that I couldn't touch him, and I kind of did like a long burst, and it, and it caught him. And that tends to happen a lot with uh, this plane. Now this guy, I don't know what he's trying to do here. It was almost like he was trying to uh, bait me, but how in the hell are you going to bait someone when they're above you? Now I notice a G55 coming and we're going to run in with him. Here's my first G55 kill. And both of those G55 kills were at him. I couldn't line it up. We were both trying to kill each other with those incredible guns. I out turned him. But I mess up the shot, and I have another chance here. I'm out turning him again. I'm going off throttle when I'm doing that. Now I'm spamming a little bit, rushing the shot. Could have finished him earlier, but I was rushing the whole time. Then after a while, I kind of settle down in this match. So that's my second kill. Here I started to get worried because of the cannons on this thing. I lost count of the amount of times I've been sniped out of my plane by uh, P8. But it's, I figured I could take the shot since it looked like it looks like he was distracted with another plane. 
And there's one, uh, I think it's this one. One plane's gonna be on fire and I'm gonna take the shot anyways because it's not a clean kill. And I didn't want the plane to get away and put the fire out. Plus a lot of times if I'm diving down, I've already wasted energy and uh, I don't wanna waste time and energy. If I've made the effort to dive down and someone hasn't gotten a clean kill, I'm taking a shot. It helps out the team when you do that instead of risking that guy putting the fire out and then killing one of his, you know, one of our teammates because that affects our ticker. Either that or actually getting an, uh, an objective kill, which is to uh, drop a bomb on a ship or, or a cargo ship. So uh, sometimes I, I take the shots and worry about it later because it seems like a lot of times when people do that to me um, I get a little bit upset and then I start thinking okay well if we win this mission everybody gets a hundred and twenty percent mission achievement bonus and that can be significant so uh, while it irks me that some people might do that especially if I just said like if I've spent the time to dive down and I have a plane on fire, someone comes from the side and, and, and gets the kill, I get a partial. And if we win, I get, you know, we all get 120% bonus. So now I'm looking and I'm like, what, 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 which one, which one? And at first I was looking at the P-39 that's directly under me. Now he's, he's passed. Uh, I'm scanning around trying to pick a target. Mr. G55 is like lingering like he he can do something from down there and he actually surprised me a little bit because what's going to happen is he's going to boom up and I don't know why he did that he probably would have been better off diving down because at first I was going to pull off so I can't tell where he's going at this point and then I realize he's coming up see I almost pulled up and he tries to head on me not particularly good and only took very very slight damage nothing significant wing tip is yellow right there just a tad so that's my fifth kill and now I'm wondering what's next and I'm kind of taunting these guys with the, the blue smoke And there's James again. He's in a C205, I believe. Yep. So I'm wondering, okay, should I risk diving down? Because these guys, they can catch me if they have a ton of energy. And he looks like he's headed this way. But I'm, I'm focused on this SB2M. And this guy starts juking. And I hate when those SB2Ms start doing that. And he got warned by his turret uh, gunner. spamming a little bit catch him on fire and then I dive back down he's, he's still going and I'm like crap you know fire might not be enough don't even know if he's gonna put it out and it looks like he put it out so going back down there and I get the kill so our six kill Another S uh, is it SBD? Yep. And I, I think I'm waiting for a reload here. Look how agile these planes are. And remember, like I said before, if I've spent the energy and time to get a kill or to, to come toward a kill, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. The guy was on fire. But as you saw earlier, the plane that I shot that uh, the other bomber, the one before that one, um, he put the fire out. So look at look at James up there. He's trying to get a height advantage, you know. Pretty sure he's trying to set me up because it looks like he's coming this way. 
you could be looking at that B65, uh, that BA65, BA65, however you want to pronounce it. So I'm looking down here. This guy hasn't been touched yet. He's leaking fluid. And I dive down to see if I can snipe him and someone gets him. So here it's like I get confused because of the amount of planes and I just have nope. Too big of a group. James is still up there. And I'm looking at that 185 there and he's going to kill himself. So I'm trying to figure out where to go next. James is just circling up there. I don't know why my camera's blinking like that. Okay, I think I've reloaded my guns. I'm looking at the IL-2. I'm at seven kills. Then I decided to try and go for Spitfire, but he gets he gets taken out. The Act 9 turns off and I begin to walk him. It's very rare that this plane will walk down a, another. But he seems like the closure rate's starting to lessen. And there you go. I get that kill. I just beat his plane up. The thing was, he didn't even juke or anything. Which actually surprised me. So now I notice someone stalking me. I'm trying to bait him. And then I call him out to a teammate. He turns off. But there's another one. There's someone else that's close by. So I hit the key 100. So I'm going to get myself in a pickle here. I'm going to be surrounded by two planes and they're gonna keep coming something popped off I don't know what it was so he's trying to take there's two planes trying to take shots at me one of them has smoke I get that kill I'm at my ninth kill he swipes at me this is the yak three guy missed a shot and I have him on the defensive. He can't shake me. I'm out turning him. I'm out. I got a lot more speed. He's using rudder. So I can't quite get him. I get that kill though. And there's still someone behind me. The last seven is. Decided to loop over. Trying to anticipate where he's going to be. We got a bowfighter now as well. Bowfighter turned really sharp there. So I'm getting distracted. Pilot snipe. Now I had the bowfighter to worry about. We're at 11. Got a hole in my right wing. And I think I took out his elevator or rudder. One of the two, probably elevator. And then I get off the throttle, get the kill, extend out. That was my last kill. There's someone else coming. I believe it's a zero. I take a swipe at him. Bearcats doing good booming and zooming, but it's like the Zero is trying to make his way over here. I don't have enough energy or altitude to outrun him if I boom him, and the round is almost over, so I gotta do something. So I kinda take a, do a hit out from way out, and I try and line up. I've gotten zero kills this way as well. 
They're sitting there. Turning hard, trying to avoid a kill. He did it too soon. And I noticed that round has ended, so I just trying to not give him, give him the satisfaction of even touching me after the the bell has been rung. So uh, that was our great match, especially toward the end when uh, we got into that little furball deal. I killed everyone in that furball. I was expecting help, but no one came in. Well, that was fine. It worked out well. And that's not the first time I've gotten in a situation like that with G55. The last time it was the Siri 1. Uh, that thing has a wicked uh, burst mass. Uh, 4.92, which is higher than actually the G55S. Um, it's the highest of all of the, the G55 series. In fact, even the G56. G56 I think has the same guns as the 55 yep but that was a great match great match um, it's been a while since I've actually had a run like that I mean, looking at the uh, look at these uh, G series planes all very low uh, KDR Very nice. 